How's it going guys? Back at it again. Indian Spring Cemetery. We are AR Paranormal. My name is Alex. My name is Robert. My lovely is Tana Associate over here. <laughs> uh, so we've been here quite a few times. Um, we would have never known about this place if it wasn't for our fellow YouTuber Jenny Love TV. Go check her out. We're actually here because of Jenny Love TV. Um, she had recently just kind of um, came out saying that she was going to quit. She, you know, she, there's there's drama. It's paranormal, you know, and there's drama. So it, it happens. All YouTube has drama in every genre. Uh, there's uh, people that just you know say stuff they shouldn't say. They just you know try to get people to turn on other people, and it's just it's not cool. It's not cool. But it should be literally a unity of people. It's called para unity. But we just, um, we, we can do better. We should do better. So, it shouldn't be always about me and stuff. But, you know, who has more and who has less. But, um, yeah. Pretty big uh, experiences here. We've had, um, I think, touches. We've had um, voices come over the spirit box. We've had audible voices. Literally, like, screams from across from one side where we were at we could hear screams all the way to the other side um, this actual cemetery is in uh, a haunted book of Florida and it actually is in the listing for one of the most haunted cemeteries for a few reasons um, we had a crooked sheriff we had a uh, murder buried right next to their murderer and their husband, I think it was. Uh, I'll have to look that one back up. Um, we have a crook, couple of crooked, or I think a crooked family that, that resides here. And um, we have what's called baby land. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, um, it's literally a whole area where the children are buried. And a lot of cemeteries have plots where they have sections just for the children. Um, but this one's pretty big. It's a nice size one, and there's a lot of stories of, you know, hearing screams of a woman from that section, um, even seeing uh, people that look like maybe a woman in a white dress passing by. We've actually both experienced that before we even knew that that was the thing. Uh, we even heard the scream, and it came from that general direction. There's even been told that they've seen um, a taller, elongated arm and leg uh, person in that same area and in kind of other areas of the cemetery. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully we capture that. Hopefully we can get that back on recording because one of our previous videos where we actually heard the woman screaming, it's actually, you can hear it when you watch the video. So go and watch some of our older videos of this place. It's pretty haunting. It's unnerving at some points. <laughs> um, but yeah, to our section, we this like our one side we actually have the older sections with all the older graves one of the oldest graves is all the way to the back it's the Peabody graves um, and yeah that one has another story all by itself where uh, the same youtuber Jenny Love TV was literally led to um, this woman's grave via the spirit box and the whole story was pretty much told woman was ironing her clothes, one of those old school irons where you put the coal inside, walked away for a second, and she got caught in her house when it was on fire. So, pretty, uh, pretty intense. To the other side, you have some of the newer plots, a lot of military. Um, it's a very big military support cemetery on this side. And then you have a whole other section for just the foreign graves. And they're kind of like stacked on top of each other. Um, very close. Um, so yeah, without further ado, you know, we're just going to go ahead and get on to this investigation and we'll see what happens. I think, yeah, every time they put the fence up, it just feels different here. So, but they're, they're definitely fixing up these graves. They're putting gravel on these things. Looks like they painted the rock from the last time. There's a big old spider making a home with the fence. <laughs> we got to remember that's there. <laughs> What's 
it's yeah. actually eating. Oh, well, that's the first time I've actually seen one of them catch something. Mr. Spider. That this erratic erraticus. It's gonna jump at you. Be careful. <laughs> Which one's the? There it is. The non-sticky. Do 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 do. See that shit? You just gotta tap on the one that doesn't stick. I hate spiders. I hate them so much. Didn't live long. Uh, looking at 13 years. You got one, two, and there's the third one, which is the oldest one. Yeah. So she is the first. 13 years old. The last time we were here, I think we actually got a response from We got like, it, there was like a girl's voice. Like a girl's voice coming through. And um, it was like, it said, like we were like, are you a female? It said yes, female. So like that, then we had a little bit of a conversation and not much after that. It was, we heard like a girl crying. Um, I remember. I remember when we were here last time we heard a female scream. Yeah, the female scream part was, yeah, that one was a little intense. If anyone had watched that video, we're literally, we're not too far from where we were at when we heard it from the adjacent side and everything too. this device in my hand, if you come towards it, it'll go off and change different colors, and it'll give us a sign that you are here. Bug spiding, but, oh, Eric's coming out, sweet. I'll be on my way. So, if there is anybody here, oh, look, it's going. And it's not my phone, because I'm not close enough. This is super cool that Eric's coming out. It'll be the first time we do an investigation with him. <laughs> and then, so yeah, so when we finally get the videos up, guys, um, <laughs> we have been doing investigations with a bunch of our friends. Um, we've been at Sylvan Abbey, we've been at Spring Hill, and have had some pretty good um, videos. And we're hoping that we can recover some of this stuff, though, because on our old camera, um, it's it's been messing up and kind of corrupting the files so <clears throat> we believe that we found a way to recover Yeah. That we'll have those up uh, as soon as possible. And it is kind of funny too, because right where we're, we're at right now is right by this like little river stream connected to a lake or something like that. And um, <clears throat> a lot of alligators around here. We got got a couple of Florida man here, so. I'll just take one of them as a pet. Dude, I'm not going to the front. I definitely want to keep this view. But, uh, definitely want to keep 
Hmm. It's EMF and it's in the Hewitt mausoleum. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> kamikaze fly. <laughs> bugs out here trying to kill you, man. I'm gonna keep this in the Hewlett mausoleum because we get a lot of uh, responses in the Hewlett mausoleum. Yeah, that EMF just spiked a tiny bit. Elizabeth McLean or any of the McLean family, please come forward. We're not here to harm you, just here to make some communication. So if you could, could you please make that EMF receptor go off for us again? Sound like an owl. Or like a... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, mosquitoes are just becoming so immune to like everything. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna head down a little bit further. Turn this bad boy off. We're gonna go down to Sandland family now. So I'm talking about the one that looks like it had like a cradle. I think it did, but it was further down. I think this one, this one Sons had... Sons of Confederate veterans. We unfortunately have some Confederate people here. I mean... Which is fine. People, it's the South. Yeah, it is the South. Fine. Um... I feel like there's just more stuff added to it. Yeah, maybe. There's a broken bottle that's a lot of So, you just place this EMF detector in the grave. I don't know if you saw when I turned it on, it started flashing and making some noises. If you get really close to it, you can make it do that as well. So if there are any spirits here, even if it's not the spirit of this little, little child here, buried here, 
for it and make that EMF detector go off for us. And this is, you see, this is another cemetery too. It's like mad peaceful until it's not. Yeah, yeah. it's once you once you've stepped into like a certain area, it's like it just that's when stuff just starts hitting the fan. But other than that, it's like it's it'd be a peaceful place to go. And bury that. I mean, if you plan on being buried. Yeah, and this cemetery is really big, actually. Um, yeah, it's massive. That, I don't know if it's as big as uh, Sylvan Abbey. Um, hmm. but this cemetery is pretty big as well. I know they have a really good amount of bodies buried. I, yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as big as Sylvan Abbey. Sylvan Abbey's, I think it's like 42 acres or something like that, 45 yeah. acres. I don't, this one's okay, not that big. Yeah. This this one's big. It's, it's big. But yeah, it's just not that. I, it's just probably in the 20s when it comes to acres okay, of land. Because I've seen, like, properties that sit on five acres of land, and it's pretty massive. If we brought but. you some toys. Maybe next time we come by. Would you like that? If you would, can you make that device go off for us and let us know? Maybe you want some new toys? And there's a lot of like highway noise too, so you gotta be wary of that. Yeah, I mean, it, it literally sounds like someone's talking over here. Like somewhere over here, it sounds like someone's talking. So I keep hearing like, it literally sounds like two people are talking to each other, but I can't hear them. They're like just out of range kind of thing. Then I heard a laugh. It was weird. Because it literally sounded like someone was right up over there. It's white up It's everywhere. They're all over the place. Oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Don't get into much from that. Head on over. We're going to. Now, baby sleeping. That was, uh, Car sick. Oh, they're probably filling it. Well, there was that one time when we came here, this was all sunken in. Yeah. So it looks like they're either filling it or. Kind of stop the erosion. And this family is actually the family that first owned the plot back when they first opened back in 1850. Yeah, no, when they started, I think it was like. What is that symbol? Birds out this way? What a symbol. Oh, oh, it's a cross. Okay, from let's say from the the angle that we were at, it looked like a weird like tree. It was weird. Yeah, I love this like this whole piece right here. Well, it was crazy. Remember the piece of wood that was in there? Yeah, yeah, I do. There was like a so if you go back and watch some of our older videos, uh, if you go on if you're on the TikTok. And you go and you watch, uh, watch the videos we have from this on TikTok. Right here, right here was a big piece of wood. And it just like over time just started just slowly diminishing to like literally nothing now. Whatever's left behind is just this dust. Looks like rust. But 
got some wasp speedos in there. But it's this is yeah. James M. Morgan. I don't know if they're related to Morgan and Morgan. But I mean they'd be old as hell. February 16th, 1859 to July 19th, 1903. If you see one of our older videos, I taught I taught one of our friends how to re, uh, how to do the math on how old someone is. Take away the 18 and the 19. All right, and then you just got 59 and 03. But you only can go up from 59. So you know 41, 56. and then you add three to it. So that'd be 44. 44? Yeah, because you're only going up. It's already at 59, so you're adding 41. It takes 41 to get to 100, which is 1900. But then they only live for three more years after 1900, so 44. It's basic math, man. Basic math. <laughs> it's okay, stick with me, kid. I'm like the math teacher here. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at the same. It's just ADHD math, that's all that is. Second Lieutenant Air Service World War One. And their beloved wife. James married. So James is the one that actually bought the land for this place. And Mary was his wife. Um, she also has her next um, This is the more of the family. Eighteen ninety. So the lambs are children. Yes. The lambs on the headstones are children. Also, um, something I looked up because we were kind of curious about it. Um, yeah, there's the airport. Isn't, the it, isn't there airplanes. another area that has sandlands too? I could have sworn. No, I think this is the only side that has the sa only section that has the sandlands. I don't. I don't understand why there isn't this sandlands too over here. Aren't these sandlings? Uh, no, Susan. Yeah. And then there's a Morgan. That's Morgan. This one is JMM. Here's another child grave. And you can tell the child graves from the little lambs on the top of them. Or uh, it'll be like an etched into the stone thing. Yeah, because I think they have batteries in the car. Yeah. No, this is still full range, so I'm A OK. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything, too. Hmm, interesting. Now this EMF detector might go off, just because I'm putting this right here.
I just jammed up my finger doing that too. Oh, it's gonna sting. There you go. I hit it, but I jammed up my finger. Oh. Can you please tell us where you are? Move over the spirit box right here. Why? We just want to have a conversation. Yeah. Who just screamed? Bro, that was loud. I heard that. I, I just heard that. Oh, man, that was really loud. That was a guy. That was a male's voice. Um, who's talking? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, even have, I don't think I have the headphones that came with the thing, because I think I took them out to clean out the pouch, because it had dirt in it. These beetles are really annoying. These fucking things right here are all over the place right now. Is any of the Sandlin family here? Oh. I know you're behind us. James still here. Or maybe his wife Mary. Mr. Morgan, are you here? Since this is your uh your grave marker. One of them? So one of the Morgans are here? Well, it's it's crazy because this is this is James M. Morgan. So, you know, James M. Morgan. And then this grave right here, which is just a big slab, it says JMM on it, and that's literally it. So that's probably where he's buried, but this is like a marker. This might have been what he, he was supposed to have a family spot. Is that a Morgan right there? Right? Yeah, Morgan. So there's another Morgan. But then there's a a Susan Susan. Yeah. Are those Morgans? Jesse and Maud. So then we got we got some Morgans here. Right next to the salmon. So, what I want right now from both of you guys, both sides of this family, I want the Sandlins versus the Morgans. Alright, I want an arm wrestle match right here. I want one arm going through this way, one arm going through that way. I want you. Yeah, someone's got to reach in there and grab the spirit box. That's, that's no normal bee. That's a wash. And that's no normal wash. That's a yellow jacket. Freaky, I ain't going live. Because there was nothing there at first, you know? Yeah. Boop, boop. There's my sacrifice. I sacrificed that beetle. Now communicate.
Are you talking? Oh, were you talking about like the wasp was in there? Yeah, no. It must have like. It was. It was like laying up on the inside. I saw it. It just wasn't doing anything, so I just assumed it was well, dead. It's small, so it's definitely like a baby. It's like a hard time with it, bro. These are not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not intimidated by them as long as I can see them. If they're flying around me, that's when I'm like, all right, listen, let's get out of here. But I got gotcha. you. There's that. I just don't want to go like Macaulay Culkin and my girl. <laughs> I just don't want to go out like that, you know? One, two, three, maybe four or five stings, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But when you got a whole swarm of actual bee bees, not wasps, bees, and you're allergic. All right, well. There's no coming back from that. We're going to go ahead and head over to another area. Thank if you for any, your time. Any of the Sandlins or the Morgans want to follow us around. I don't think we ever looked up the significance of the Morgans. If any of you guys want to follow us around, you're more than welcome to. Tap my friend on the shoulder, pull on his shirt. You can do the same thing to my friend over here right next to me. You got a third friend here? Eric's not here yet. Huh? <laughs> I'll be here soon. I like this. This is cool. Rufus. They did you well, Rufus. This is a cool little grave. Yeah. I also liked you in that uh, that show, Kim Possible. Mm. It was very nice. Turned out to be a pretty big uh, Nick and Mole rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got another wing ham. Yep. Wing ham. Yeah, wing ham. I think this is a whole wing ham. John P. Wing ham. That's yeah. Shepard. Uh, Shepard? That's Where's that sheriff grave? Actually. Should be somewhere towards the middle. Alright, I'm gonna pause the pause the video real quick and try to find the sheriff's grave. Be right back. So we're right here with the the Winham family and uh we have the husband and wife in their if the story's right, the murderer, pretty much, that killed one of them or both of them. Maybe I have a, another one that's a little bit easier to use. That has right now, where the camera pointed at the, the husband and wife. Virginia or um, Richard or what do you like to be called, Dick? Either one of you here? It's just a Richard. So Richard, you're here right now with us? Can you tell us about uh, why you're here, how you got here at all? George. Are you here, George? George McGraw? Is there a reason why you killed the Wyndham family? Was it something that 
They did. Why was he so mad? Why was George so mad? He's not mad. Are you still celebrating holidays even though you passed away? Get out of here since you're asking us to go. about to emerge right there. We got some armadillos over here. So this um little bush area, little shrubbery area and dirt, just lines all the way along the side. 
over here, side of this little road. and finish that. Right, I'm going to pause it again. Be back when it, when we with it, when we at it. When we with it, when we at it. All right, so now we're over here in baby land. This is where all the children have been laid to rest. Where in, um, in like the book that we have that actually talks about this cemetery. Oh yeah, look, bunnies. Bunny and Bunny. They're trying to sneak up behind us and kill us. You just you said he can't hop through the fence and he just did it. He totally just went right through it. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure if we're close enough right off the bat, I can catch one of these bunnies, bro. Dude, <laughs> just pan to your left. All the eyes. I don't I don't know if they could see it on the camera, but that's fucking so that's elusive. Oh yeah, I wish you guys could see all these little green, blue looking eyes flashing back at me. No, none of the ones none of the ones I've looked at on the ground, they're all like kind of really small. They're all still babies. But yeah, baby land. Let's go ahead and set up. Yeah, I mean they're all kids, so I mean it's all gonna be hopefully not too much baby goo good guy guy Yeah, it sounds, it says there's like a, a lady in a white dress that's been seen here, but like from a distance. Very blurry, but it looks like a woman in a white dress walking around over here in Baby Land. And then you'll hear a scream. It'll sound like a woman screaming. I'm gonna walk walking over here. I'll go over to our left. Are there any kids here? Oh, yeah. Can you keep making those lights go off for us, please?
that has multiple lights, the one that we just put down, when you get close to it, the light will turn red and it'll make beeping noises. I'm telling you if they're wearing on. Do you like the little lights? Oh yeah, it's really going now. I think this is Charles, right? Charles, if this... I'm gonna go up. Our bunnies. Charles, are you with us right now? If you're here, can you make that device flash? Can you stop it? Stop making it go off. Thank you so much. Can you can you set it all the way to red? Can you, can you get all the way to the very last one? Try your hardest. I feel like you can do it. It did go all the way to right. He's holding it. Who else is here? Hey. Yeah, man, that thing is going buck wild ever since we put it down. Can you tell me your name? My name is Robert. Yep, your name. Can you tell me it? Whoever is around, can you can you say your name through the spirit box? You try your hardest. What's your name? Nice. Yeah, man, that thing is going crazy, bro. This is going crazy. There was a little girl that just came over. What's the name of the little girl that was just trying to talk to talk to me? Oh, 
of the ball, the bottom of my hand, my palm. You can go crazy and go straight over to the um, Hewitt pool and get over here. It's not even going off when the camera is next to it. So it's not even like the battery waves or whatever, electric waves. Literally just just going off all on its own. That's wild, man. Well, so Charles is pretty powerful. Yeah. You must be Charles Xavier. I'm going to have to bring you a bald man in a wheelchair pretty soon. Toy. And see, look, it's crazy because the other one's not making any noise and it's not going off. I don't see, I think the other one's more bolster than anything. Like, it's just like, oh, it's an EMF. And then people are like, oh, we'll find it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think it's that good. Because if, if we have yet to ever see it go off. Excuse me, sir. And the other EMF, sir. the P2, is an actual EMF. We're doing investigation here, sir. <laughs> just watch for all the spiders, sir. Yo, this is Eric, 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 Eric. Eric, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, Finally so. out here on the first investigation, yeah. man. Shoot. Yeah. So, first time. As you can see, our EMF detector is going off. Uh -huh. No electric out here. There's a lot of rabbits in the tree lines and armadillos, bro. We've been here all this craziness. Now, you brought your gun with you, right? Damn it. Where we're uh, standing at <laughs> is baby land. Yeah, so. so Yeah, so this cemetery is in the top 10, and this area is in the most well-known part of this whole cemetery. This is baby land. This is where all the children are, but it, it's not just known for children graves. It's known for the woman that's pretty much a caretaker. She, uh, she's she been seen, like you could see her from any, any kind of direction. Uh, people have felt her around this area and stuff like that. She's a woman that walks around, white dress. And um, that's how most people have seen her. Um, and we were on the other side, in the far other corner, and we actually heard what sounded like a woman screaming, which is in the book saying that that's what a lot of people have, have heard from Babyland. They'll hear a sound like a woman screaming or crying like one of her children passed away here. So. Yeah, so... But we walked over here to Charles, he's got all these toys over here, and our EMF detector, electromagnetic frequency detector, a K2 meter, is going crazy over here. Absolutely so. crazy. So, but E, what is, what is your background on the paranormal, just so we can get an idea? Uh, so, uh, we used to um, go into the wooded area in Cumberland, Maryland, and uh, came across this house that uh, had burned down. Apparently, some people had passed away. We didn't know that at the time. But we made it our fourth. And uh, at nighttime, we would hear footsteps coming down into the basement area. And we're sitting there like, no one else is here. Yeah. So we go and peek around the corner. Nothing. So we go back, and we're just chilling, playing games and whatnot. And all of a sudden, we hear the footsteps quicker, like running down the stairs. And we're like, what is that? Go check up the stairs. Nothing. Then all of a sudden we started hearing stuff like crashing upstairs. Wow. Yeah. So we ran out of the house and uh, then we <laughs> we got the courage to go back a couple of nights later and stayed the night. And uh, good idea or bad idea? Uh, 
I don't know. I'd say bringing your courage up. Good idea. Hearing stuff throughout the night that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Bad idea. Yeah. And some, some, some will stay probably with stuff like that, you know, is a house you, you've never been in, you know, but you're going to hear those still, kinds of noises and stuff, but I've been in like cabins before and chilled in cabins, gone camping in cabins, don't hear a damn peep, you know, and you're in, it's, it's a place, it's a cabin, you know, they're, they're really quickly made and stuff. And like you go into an actual house and you hear stuff and I'm like, yeah, listen, man, <laughs> Especially if it's got some kind of history, burnt down, people, you know, so, died. So what will we categorize you as? Will we categorize you as skeptic or believer? I don't believe her. Okay. Um, I haven't had anything like up here in front of me or anything like Same. that. Just, just noises and, and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, you, but you definitely know there's something out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you're a non-believer, then. I don't know. I mean, tell it, you. it is what it is. I've seen uh, plenty of people. I would say the the biggest one that I've seen is a guy on YouTube. His name is uh, Josh. And he has a channel exploring with Josh, right? Yeah. And he was a skeptic, full blown skeptic. And through his experiences of you know exploring abandoned places and just everything that has happened over the top, over the course of his YouTube career, mm-hmm. he has 100% switched over to being. Because there are just, there's absolutely no reasoning behind the certain things that you caught, especially when you're actually seeing, like peering around corners, looking at you, and then darting away and black shadow figures and stuff like that. There's, there's just no answer for that. Yeah. yeah. It, the crazier, crazier part about exploring with Josh too is, he's, he's done a lot of paranormal videos, a lot of exploring videos. A lot of the places he explored, they have this, like, paranormal history to them, and he doesn't go there for that. Mm-hmm. He goes there, and he's just like, oh, this is an abandoned building in the middle of nowhere. He went to the, uh, if anyone has ever watched it, it's the, it's called the uh, 13th Ghosts. Oh, yeah. It's got Matt Lillard in it. Uh, oh, 13 Ghosts. Oh, 13 Ghosts. Yes. Oh, 13, oh, yeah, 13 Ghosts. Ghost. Yeah. So it's got, uh, it's got Matt Lillard in it. Two two different movies. You'll probably look, find the rated R triple X version somewhere out there too. Um, but uh, <laughs> you can find anything. Yeah, yeah. But he found the house they shot the movie in. All glass. All glass. I mean, well, it's not all glass, but it was made to look like it was in the movie. But it's really cool. Like even the like where the where they walk in, where the front door is, it is literally looks just like that part though. But the rest of it, it's walls, big open areas, got like a, I think they call it, what do they call it? A, like a bird cage kind of style, like a greenhouse part oh, okay, of the yeah, house. where it comes up to the point. Yeah, it has the, it's like a dome though, yeah, it's and it's all glass, and it's like hexagonal shape. Yeah. And they found that. There was no way to get in, so they couldn't get into the place. But they had permission to get on, to go on the property and walk the land and stuff like that. And it's yeah. massive. It sits on like 12 acres of land. I mean, even in the movie. When it you put the key in, the key disappeared. Yeah, right into the lock and everything. Sh- yeah. Matt Lillard is one of my favorite yeah, actors, so yeah. 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 That was that was his perfect role my, for me. One of my top movies ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but yes. 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 That Jack. one was oh. he got riddled with over 50 rounds. Man, I like the princess, but you know, we, we got, there's a reason. If you've, the movie, <laughs> if you've seen the movie, if you've seen the movie, you know why. <laughs> And princess, <laughs> I'm far from lonely, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, man, so, I'll so, spend eternity with her. Some, uh, <laughs> some of the history, some of the history on the place here, yeah. um, over there, going down that way, um, the people that originally bought the land uh, is the Sandlin family, but the person that purchased it is James. Just and the year. He, he's buried over there with. His wife and a couple of their children. Yeah. Um, and then over there, you see like the big re- reflection over there. Mm-hmm. It's like it's it's a sign. Yeah. Um, that's where the first person of the cemetery is buried. Okay. Um, and obviously we have baby land where you know there's a white figure seen. Um, while we were last time we were here, we were walking up this way to go to the Hewitt Mausoleum right here, which is a hot hot spot. Um. And uh, while we were walking up here, we heard a girl scream, like literally, like, ah, like loud, right? And I was like, bro, oh, did you just hear that? And it's captured on video. Um, he didn't hear it. I'll have to, we'll have to repeat it. 
I I heard him. He didn't hear it. Um, it was one of the ones that evaded me, and usually I'm the one that hears all the stuff. And yeah. Um, or we'll so both yeah, see so it happens. at least. And then, typically in the Hewitt mausoleum, um, we do our sensory deprivation there, um, SS method. Um, we don't have headphones, otherwise we'd be doing. It. Yeah. Um, but typically in there, we get um, big crazy stuff. Um, for some reason, uh, we always get like demon or demonic, you know, kind of stuff talking in there. Yeah. Um, Yo, it's actually kind of crazy. I've noticed the EMF detector hasn't gone off since we've very much been ignoring Charles. Yeah, it just went off. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, down on that end, I'm not really sure about down on the other end, because the other end is a lot more recent uh, burials and stuff. Um, you know, but uh, we got the police officer that was buried here. His, uh, his statue is right there. Um, what was that other mausoleum, the one up by the, the flag? Oh, the so I don't... See, there's no story on that one. So that, I think that's just like, you know, family plot. Someone put their, yeah, you know, sure. person's ashes it's there. Like or something. Like. Yeah, it's like... And the crazy thing is, is like all the way up until... Like a, like the last time we went there. Yeah, the last time we came here, the gate was open. And the gate's yeah. locked, usually. but So the gate was like wide open. Um, there's just like a vase in there. Just like chilling. So and then uh, one more story is there's a girl um, that is buried here as well. Um, she burned to death in her house. Yeah. Iron. Yeah, they had one of those old coal irons where they put the coal in it and stuff like that, and they would iron their clothes. And I guess she walked away for a second to come back. Thought she had it in a safe spot. One of the I guess one of the coal sparked, probably caught the clothes on fire. The whole front of the house caught on fire. Back then, they didn't have a back door no. to the house, so she couldn't get out. Yeah. Um, so she got stuck in there and burnt to death. But she's buried here. And uh, someone who we follow and who we've heard about this place through, Jenny. Uh, Jenny Love TV. She's on YouTube. Her video, she actually was on using the SB7, the spirit box. And it led her all the way to that grave, and it was she was pretty much communicating with this person, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, for um, sure. I think we just like accidentally found her one day. Yeah, Tons of spiders. No, I'm, need... I'm watching for fire ants. <laughs> oh, fire ants! Oh yeah. yeah. I've never seen fire ants here, so you should be. You should yeah, be good. we if see like the carpenter some, ants, uh, and they're spray? always by trees. I have some off spray in the back of the car. If you yeah. Need, so. Oh, yeah, good right now. new subscriber on YouTube. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So um. It's been it's been steady. Yeah. Communication, no communication, communication, communication. All right. So you want to throw them into the deep end? Into Hewitt? Yeah. Or do you want to let them doggy paddle in the shallows? He's had his experience. Who knows? He watches so, his ghost hunter <laughs> uh, <so laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna set up, set up, get get our buddy over here situated, and we'll get him uh, initiated at the same time. Definitely. So, yeah. Always, so when we do be right back. Well, that's what it does. It seems to, you know, radio stations at like a very high uh, uh, rate. So it's like 150 sweeps every minute.
Can you say passport again?
you make the EVP reader go off? So me, me and Easy E over here are gonna we're gonna walk around and let Rob stay in the Hewitt mausoleum alone, all on his own, all by on his own. Some. Did you turn it off? Uh, you had it. Oh yes, I turned it off. Oh, I, didn't, yeah. I, I wanted to save while we were talking. So yeah, we're gonna leave Rob in there alone this time. Drain fast too. When it's when it serves. Yeah, so the speaker itself has three AA batteries in it, and okay. it's an eco-friendly one, so it, it doesn't use the batteries too much. It literally is just a little tiny LED light and then the speaker, okay. and it uses low am low ampage, okay. so it will take forever to go through those three AA's. Oh, good. Um, and then the SB7, it's a brand new SB7, not, not used right out of the box, and it's the newest version of it. Mm -hmm. So it's got three AAA in it, and we literally forgot to flip them around. And, uh, yeah. Me and you, we're going to head over somewhere where um, we didn't go earlier. Or we usually go. It's a little um, Mason's grave over here. There's a sheriff over here, too. We just finally found a plot right here. So this sheriff, actually, well, I'll show you this one, tell you a little story about this guy. So this sheriff right here, he um, was found to be uh, working with the Stanlins family over there. Okay. And they were kind of like the mob of this area. And he was working with them. So he was very corrupt. And instead of like, you know, giving him like a, a grave that was just kind of shitty or whatever, mm -hmm. when he passed away, which, he passed away in 1903. Mm -hmm. The old, the oldest one over there was 1902. So he passed away only a year after the last family of the Stanlin yeah. passed away over there. Um, so he only lived there for another year, and so he was found corrupt. But they gave him this grave, swept all of his corruption underneath the table. If he retired, mm. so he retired, and then he died a year later. Wow. They don't know how. And it's been a lot of speculation that it was like, you know, a police officer that something happened to his family, that the Stanley family did to him, um, killed him. But, yeah. So there's a whole story there. And uh, Stanley family's over here. They've got, I don't know if it's like, <laughs> if they're like the Morgan and Morgan family over here, too, with them. But it's literally Morgan on this big stove stone over here and it's nice so it's expensive looking um yeah that thing right there yeah it's huge gigantic and it, it's uh james m morgan and then his actual grave is right next to it and it's got a big uh slab that says jmm on it but but the stanlin family's right here so it's these gravestones right here and these little tiny markers right in front of right here is another grave and it's unmarked and then there's two over here so these if you see these little lambs on the top yep. or edged into the stone those are children 
Yeah, so there's two children here. Um, there's no initial on this one at all. Then there's this big thing. Watch out. There's a yellow jacket wasp in there. But this thing, we have pictures and video of it. There was a piece of wood in here that it was like a perfect rectangle. And I guess over time it's just been whittled down to like nothing. Oh, wow. To where literally there's nothing here anymore. So, but yeah, this is the Morgan family, you know. That's uh, James Morgan himself right there. Then he's got a couple of family members over here. But there's another child grave right here. Yeah, so there's that. Then I'll take you into the back corner over here. I was going to show you. There's a. Uh, what we'll probably show you before we all leave and stuff too is the other side is a bunch of like um, college, um, teenagers, military over there. And then there's a whole section of just foreign people. A lot of like Arabic, German, Russian. That's fun over there actually. Another Stanlin area. Oh, it's been a while since the 4th of July party. Yeah. <laughs> American flags are in Memorial Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the, the graves and put them up? Yeah. That's cool. Well, I mean, uh, you know, during the academy, we yeah. had to... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, while you're our, in the academy, yeah, I got one gotcha. of our services that we provided. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, there's, a, there's a guy that actually goes around the yeah, we actually were just watching, we watched one of his videos not too long ago, and um, he uh, he now has like a patent on some chemical or something like that that he uses to clean them now, and he sells it through his um, page. Wow. That's the, um, so this is the, the, the one that was military that we found over here, I think it's Captain W.H. Johnson. Um, this is one of the Masons, and... We had, before we actually, when we started doing all of this, like the investigations, we had never seen a grave like this. Like, I've seen one similar to this in, like, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because they, they have to bury they, them above ground because yeah. the water. Level yeah. The sea. Yeah, I've seen them like that. This, is a, this was a mason. This is a newer headstone for this person right here for the in the Johnson plot. And this one had a huge mason symbol up on the top of it, and I, it was just gone one day, the next time we came here. Um, the actual one I was going to show you is no longer here, it was right there. Now there's these two, and we see a lot of these, like, designs that look like logs. Like, they always look like these, like, log designs, like a tree trunk and stuff. Unique. Oh yeah. Like the uh, way we read it. Yeah, September twenty seventh, eighteen sixty, and then April eighth, nineteen twenty one. F. B. Pitt, and then this person. Step over him. Um. Is that Gustav Walter? Born uh, 1863 and died April 8, 1912. So not the oldest ones, but still pretty uh, crazy. There's no like descriptions on them, stuff like that. It's kind of year, date, and date, and that's it. So, but yeah, these ones are pretty cool. Yeah, the um. Woodman of the World Memorial. So, cool.
It'd be interesting. We see them every now and then all over here. There's another one in that little sandland plot we passed by. It's just like a tree stump standing up. I saw that. Uh, there's another one over here. There's a couple up front. And then the sheriff, the sheriff's grave, he has a, has a wood log going yeah. across the top of his too. So, yeah. it, it, I mean, it's interesting enough to look up too. It's like early, early 1900s. There was probably um, a headstone maker that was probably famous for that. Oh yeah. The yeah, when they had that one design that they're really famous for a lot of their artwork always ends up like that. I'm wondering if that was only in Florida. Or yeah. if, if uh they uh extended their businesses to different you know what I mean? 1900, you know but that's back before roads were made. Yeah. Oh, everything yeah. was still like that's the time where you hear all the older people going, when I first came down here, it was all sand roads yep. and trees and oranges. Yep. So, That's all you could see. I mean, could you imagine if, if they made it here and it had to be shipped Oh yeah. by coach? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had those, uh, I mean, even when we still had, like, the, the motor wagons and stuff like that, uh -huh. we still had horse buggies and stuff, yeah. too. Yeah. Things that would take us, like... You know, go from northern Florida to Miami with a bunch of trees, you know, to build something down in Miami. You know, it would have taken like six, seven days. We see, yeah, we see a bunch of them here. Zigging and zagging. Yeah, see, there's another one of those like tree stump stones. There, there's one by the tree over there, too. Oh, yeah, there's tons of them. I only use this uh, for my drug kids. Oh, yeah? Whenever I <laughs> get somebody with drugs. <laughs> I only need it for, like, right here. This thing sucks for distance. I got this thing off of um, Amazon for, like, 20 bucks. Yeah, that's why I got that. I, got that. I think I got this for, like, 12 bucks uh, out of Lowe's. I just needed something, you know, because I, I would have to hold my flashlight yeah. right here or whatever oh, while I'm you. on the hood of my car or in the back because spotlight just blinds you yeah so yeah i've seen a lot of these kind of setups over in louisiana yeah but you'll see like the, the stone over there where their the actual body is and stuff too yeah the ones that always freak me out because i never knew what they were they're like graves no stone over where the body would be but it's like a cage oh yeah yeah oh, it, those... it wasn't for um people think it was for grave robbers. graveyard robbers Right. It, it's actually um, to keep um, animals. Oh, digging. okay, from digging into it. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's because them graves are out of stuff. You know. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh, or they thought, no, 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 you're right. Okay, it was for grave robbers, okay? Yeah. They thought it was for a night of the living dead. Oh, So then zombies. if they came back to life, they couldn't get out. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I always had those like those like kind of fantasy dreams, uh, <laughs> where zombies come to life and they're real, and I'm like, yeah, this is my ultimate fantasy. Yeah. While you're trying to run and escape for your life and shoot them all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that, after your brain. That final last stand. You know the heroic. Get out of here! I'll hold them off. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> we get a there was like three of them over there on the other side too they're like randomly all over the place and I feel like they would love all the spiders that are around here uh, yeah. which is weird because now I don't see their eyes and it's, that's creeping me out even more <laughs> yeah. yeah usually when you shine your light right across the ground you would see their little green and, oh there they are green and blue eyes bouncing back at you oh yeah <laughs> like you woke me up with that bright ass light. <laughs> Could you imagine if everyone had the cage over and that and the night of the living dead did happen? And they're all trying to get out. <laughs> they're just uh, trapped in there. I'm stuck. I got good brains through the cage. Uh, I'll just rip off my head, throw that through. <laughs> 
taking the arm off through that through. I just put myself back together on the other side. You start walking through like a grave area and you got heads being flung at you. I'm not just out of reach. And he has to like tongue his head back over to his grave. You know, we actually came to this um mausoleum once and there was a chair in here, beers. I was like, someone was camping out in here. Anything? I've uh, got a couple of interesting things. As soon as you guys left, it told me to leave and get out. Um, EMF detector was going crazy the whole time. Um, <laughs> well, just, yeah. um, was hearing like some voices and stuff out here. And then the EMF detector did some, not the EMF, the, the spirit box has done something that I've never seen it or heard it do before. It went quiet, completely quiet, right? No static noise or anything. And gave me like a, a bleep blue. Right? A bleep blue. I don't know if that's the only way I can like describe the sound is it sounded like a bleep blue, right? Interesting. So I was like, you know, got it all on here. Yeah. You know, Got it on the flip phone if it didn't happen. Never, uh, never have heard anything like that come out of the spirit box before. Ever. Interesting. It's always been static, and if it does go quiet, it just goes quiet like briefly, and then static returns yeah, right back. back you yeah. know? So that was something that was super interesting. Um, got a name Ben. Ben over the spirit box. Nobody in here is named Ben. Um, and then uh, that was pretty much it. Maybe they, maybe it's someone who goes by their middle name. Maybe, maybe a middle initials would a, would a B in it. J C S. Francis B. Francis B. Hewitt maybe Benjamin possible. Ben. Possible. So maybe he didn't like his first name Francis. Yeah. You know, possible. so he went by his middle name Ben Benjamin. Yeah. So, but as far as it goes, um, that was pretty much it. And then, like I said, the EMF detector was just going crazy the whole time. So. Spooky. Yep. Oh, that's what's time to be us. Yeah, that's my turn. That's going to be fun. Hey, it's fun for you guys. I'm the one that's going to be in here with this craziness. Yeah, it's okay. I'm turning out the candles. <laughs> I'm hanging up the phones. Nah. <laughs> 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 well, so, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to Yeah, and that's another thing. Every time I come in here, it's fucking hot. <laughs> fucking I don't it's like it. Supposed to be.
They're hanging from the family clock. Balls in front of these little balls that I were lighting up earlier. 
If you lose one of them, they'll light up. Look, watch. Just like that. Can you light one of them up for me? Get away. He said, hold. They go away again. What? Are you here with me right now? Are you in this mausoleum? Is Mary here? Is Mary here? 
here. How about Samson? That's Samson. There's Clarence here. Yes. There's Francis and Clarence here. There's Norman here. How about Olive? Olive, are you here? Couldn't tell, is that a yes or a no? Olive, are you here? So I thought someone was standing there, so I looked back up and there's nothing there. And I was like, ah, oh, whatever. 
<laughs> That's what happens here. So we're walking, right? Uh, and this is swinging back and forth, right? And I had, I had the EMF detector in this pocket, and I heard, <laughs> right? And I was like, do you hear a phone? I was like, bro, I was like, I just heard a fucking phone. I'm like, I heard like a and that was it. Yeah. And Susie hit the button, I go, yeah, that was it. So, so we're walking again, and I hear it a second time, and I was like, I know what the fuck it is. <laughs> I was like, he was like, like what, what, dude, like, what is it? I was like, it's the fucking you. It's a cockroach. I was like, deboned. <laughs> my candles killed a cockroach over here and one of the beetles over there, too. Damn. So I had one beetle fly, like, literally came flying in, hit this, bounced over there, went right into the flame of the candle, and went straight to the ground. It's just this little cockroach. I mean, he's still alive, but. It's still, man, a cockroach is lived through my day. Yeah. They can spot a nuclear warhead, they can spot the yeah. fire. He hit the flame and went straight down and oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, because so, um, like you would think they wouldn't be able to survive a summer heat in an attic. Yeah. But no, they do. Yeah. Yep. It's crazy they can survive in a microwave too. Like they go in a hibernation mode. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a neighbor that um he had a really bad infestation of the little German ones mm -hmm. all throughout his house. They had literally tent his house, do the injections into the woods, they're burrowing into them. Uh, they had to spray this like big like adhesive bone spray in the attic and they tent the place off and gassed it. Like they did all three to try to kill these things. And he said they came in, they cleaned the place out, uh, got all the little carcasses out of there, uh, moved in and smelled like dead cockroaches for like a month. He was living there and then all of a sudden, boom, they're back. Yeah. Oh, so like, yeah. I, what I read was it only takes one to get in your house. And they give off a scent to have others come in once they find it's good to go. Yeah, and it's crazy too because the shell of the egg is so thick and hard to penetrate that even if you spray, they will literally sit in there before they, you know, and all the shit around them is gone, they'll hatch then. Yeah. They'll pick when they want to hatch and not the egg. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that's just why I'm here. Um, so mm -hmm. I went to this house for a call. And I didn't know it at the time, but the lady, the lady's uh, chair that she was sitting in was covered in the German ones. Oh, the shit. little ones. And she was talking and was like, and continued to talk. But it was dark over in her corner. So I shined the light over there to see what she was doing. They were going in her mouth and she would spit them out. Oh my God. I was like, uh, I, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> My partner was like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Man. Yeah, that's they funny. were like all crawling on her and she was spit them out. Dude, that's crazy, bro. I couldn't live like that, man. No. I, I wouldn't be able to. No. This corner is kind of crazy. Well, there's no sort of fire in this corner. Maybe. Maybe for warm, but it's the only thing I can do. That's some man cockroaches. Uh, I've burnt wood that's like charcoal. Yeah. Some of it's burning. Maybe they were cooking over there. Yeah, yeah maybe they were breaking it down and were putting shit on top of the yeah. cook. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a curious one. It's so crazy. You just heard that thing just pull out. Yeah. 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 That's burning. That's what you're telling Eric about the dowsing rods. That's like this. <laughs> and turn it upside down, and the camera is like, boom, so I got to go to my hand, and then it stopped Stop recording. <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> quick edits. Quick edits. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, I will say this, that first video that I shot was uh, two hours. So, oh, boy. That's going to be fun to go through. Mm -hmm. That's going to be real fun to go through. Yeah, the, um. I don't even know how I'm going to send it, honestly. The, the video that I posted, you're going to see there's a huge chunk hanging out of it because it's literally just nothing. Yeah. But um, there was, I went through the clips anyways, but so there was nothing. None of the cat balls went off. The EMF didn't go off. I think you left the spear box and it didn't go off. And that was us just walking around. Yeah. So everything else that we had was on the new one, yeah. on the new camera SD card. And I don't know if anything we had kept. 
See, that's why that's why I started recording on my phone. Yeah. Because like the old camera just kind of like started fucking up. So at least with this, if I if I go over to Alex's house, I can just plug it in and then import or export the yeah. you know, finger onto right. his laptop. Oh look at that. Did you see the video of the guy that was alone in the cemetery? And he went into like this house and literally like he was by himself, completely by himself. It was just him with the camera, the EMF, and a EVP reader. And inside of the little cottage house, screaming, like a girl screaming, like in his ear, like his right ear. And like frozen stem. He didn't know what to do. Like, was it a Russian dude? Because I know that there's a guy on YouTube, he's a Russian guy, and he literally, like, does everything along. He has, like, a song off shotgun that he has on him, and he, like, I've, I've been... It was on, it was on Facebook, 